our praise on. You give me that joy. Give me that joy like a river. You give me that mercy I never deserve. You give me that love nothing better. You give me that sweet peace like never before. There's nobody like. There's nobody like God. Give me that sweet peace like never before. There's nobody like God. There's nobody like God, like God. I'm talking about my God, my God. There's nobody like God, like God. I'm talking about my God, my God. of the 
Lord. Surely, surely goodness and mercy overflowing forevermore. We raise, yeah, we raise all our praise to the name of the Lord. We raise, yeah, we raise all our praise to the name of the Lord. your praises to the King. We raise, yeah, we raise all our praise to the name of the Lord. So every single time I will win All the days All the days of my life I will dwell in the house of the Lord Surely goodness Surely goodness and mercy Overflowing forevermore We raise, yeah we raise All our praise to the name of the Lord yeah, we raise all our praise to the name of the Lord. Yeah. Everybody sing it louder. Everybody lift him higher. Give your praises to the King. We raise, yeah, we raise all our praise to the name of the Lord. praises to the King. We raise, and yeah, we raise, all our praise to the name of the Lord. Shout to the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, we magnify you, Jesus. Woo. Let all 
the earth rejoice. Let all the earth rejoice. He wraps himself. He wraps himself in light. And the darkness tries. Darkness tries to hide. And trembles at his voice. And trembles at his voice.
Thank you. Draws near, 
the Lord. Thank it's you for his but grace, your grace in your life. Your Thank grace, him that he sustains you and brought you to this place, to Thank this you, time, Jesus. to this season. Yes. We praise you, Jesus. Your grace. We thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord, for your goodness, for your mercy, for your compassion, your faithfulness, your loving kindness. that I came to church tonight. <laughs> Hallelujah. The Lord is here in this place. Like I said a few minutes ago, just keep your heart open to what he has for you. Don't disconnect. Don't unplug because he's doing something special here tonight. Amen. Praise you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Well, we want to welcome any of our first time visitors. If you're here tonight for the very first time, go ahead and just raise your hand. We want to say hello. We're so glad that you're here with us. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And if you're tuning in online, we're so glad that you found us. Make sure that you share this link with everybody that you know so that nobody misses out on what God is doing here in Richmond, Virginia at Faith Landmarks Ministries. Praise God. Now, everything we're about to go over can be found on our church website, faithlandmarks.org. And if anything piques your interest or as we're going through and you say, you know what, I want to get connected. I want to plug in. I want to put my hands to the plow and serve the Lord in this house, in this place. You can become a new member anytime online. Our new members class is out there on our website, so you can take a look at that. But our next on-site new member class is July the 14th in the Hall of Miracles. That's going to be right after the second service. So we would love to welcome you into the family. Now, we have several job openings here at the church, too. So maybe you've been attending for some time. You're serving in various departments. And you say, you know what? I want to go further. I want to continue serving the Lord. Even in my full-time, nine-to-five, whatever it is job, we've got job openings for everybody. So you can take a look at our careers tab on the website and see what options we have available for you to get involved in that way as well. Now our Bible reading sheets for the month of June, our service attendants have those. So you can raise your hand and get one of these if you haven't gotten one so far. 
These are also located on the tables, out in the hallways, or you can download this online and have it with you anytime, anywhere. So there's no excuse to not read our Bibles, amen? This is our daily bread. This is what feeds us. It's what sustains us. Now, our service attendants also have our offering envelopes. Here in just a few moments, we will be receiving our regular church offering. So if you did not grab one of these and you need to prepare your offering for tonight, you can raise your hand and begin preparing that. Amen? Now, summer is in full swing around here, y'all. So our finish line summer camp has started. You can go ahead and sign up for the remaining weeks. We would love your children to be involved. It is a packed, packed summer for these kids. We've got so many awesome and exciting activities for them to be involved in. So you can find out more information online. Now, our summer outreach is beginning. So July the 22nd, that's this Saturday, we're doing what we're calling a neighborhood blitz. So we're going to various neighborhoods neighborhoods in the area right here around the church to let people know, hey, we're here, we're right around the corner, and we'd love to invite you to our events and get to know you a little bit better. So that's happening this Saturday. And then the 24th through the 28th, that's next week, we're doing Rebuild FLM. So we're doing several projects here on site at the church to beautify, to freshen up, to add new recreation areas, and just to beautify the place a little bit more than it already is, going to the next level, praise God. And then on the 29th, that Saturday after we do all the beautification, we are having a family community day. This is open to anybody and everybody who wants to attend. So we have these awesome postcard flyers that we can pass out. Uh, use these as an invitation. It's got information about this event. So we would love to see this property packed full of people from all across this area, just getting loved on and having a great time in the presence of the Lord. Amen. Now, VBS is coming up. It's right around the corner. So we also have these postcards, too, for our Vacation Bible School, Mission Possible Agents of Change. Uh, the kids are going to see some familiar faces if they've been coming for some time, some shady characters. Some of you may know that reference from VBS past. So it's going to be a wonderful time. We've got some awesome activities planned for these kids, and they are going to grow deeper in the word of God. Amen. We're believing that they're all going to accept the mission to be an agent of change. And then also we're offering that week free for the summer camp. So if they attend VBS, they also can attend the summer camp. Now, ladies, listen up. You all are taking a trip to Lancaster this Christmas. Christmas in June, what? Well, the bus is already filling up. So if this is something that you want to participate in, go ahead and look at the calendar, clear your schedule, sign up tonight so that you don't miss out. Amen? They're going to have a wonderful time. They're going to the Sight and Sound Theater and doing some other other tours and activities up there in Lancaster. So y'all are going to have an awesome time. Young adults, this Friday, June the 21st at 6.30, we are meeting for our Fire and Ice rematch. So that is laser tag followed by ice cream. It got pretty competitive last time. So we need more competition. I don't know if anybody could maybe beat me or Nick, but we'll never know if you don't show up. So come on out. We'd love to see what you got at laser tag. Now our Faith Landmark Skill Center is offering a new class coming up this Sunday. This is the servanthood class. Would you like to find out what you are called to do for God? What your gift is, understanding the motivation of love, how to give your whole heart. So those are just some of the topics that will be discussed in this servanthood class. So that's going to be really powerful. You can sign up online. And again, that begins this Sunday, June 23rd. We are having a water baptism service coming up on June the 30th, following the second service in the West Wing Gym. So if you've never been water baptized since you've been saved, or maybe you know individuals who you've personally witnessed to, or you have seen get saved in the past few months, bring them out. This is for any and everybody who wants to be water baptized. So come on out to that event. You can sign up online, and let's get people baptized. Amen? Yeah. Now we have an exciting announcement that Pastor has officially launched her new podcast, Time Out with PC. So if you've already signed up, you've seen, I think it's like three episodes up to this point. So a new episode is released every Monday. They're really brief, so it won't take you very long to tune in and to follow along. So you can check that out by looking up Time Out with PC on YouTube. And lastly, we have a special guest with us 
all three services this Sunday, Dr. Daryl Huffman. So that's going to be rich, rich, rich. You're going to want to be at all three services because why not? Amen. It's going to be powerful. He's come all this way from West Virginia to sow things into our lives. So let's come ready and expecting. Amen. Hallelujah. Why don't you stand up on your feet and just bless the Lord. Raise your hands before him and thank him for who he is. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father, for all these opportunities to serve you and to get connected and to grow deeper in our walk with you and in fellowship with one another. We praise you and we honor you in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, before you're seated, why don't you go in the other direction and greet a handful of more people. Tell them, I'm so glad to be here tonight. Well, praise God. Amen. Well, we are about to receive our regular church offering. Hallelujah. Can I get an amen? <laughs> what an honor that the Lord trusts us to sow into his kingdom physically so that we can reap spiritual benefits. But these benefits far outweigh what we receive. It's for advancing the kingdom so that other people can receive as well. You know, we can't be selfish when it comes to the gospel and the promises that God has given to us. All of these promises are for us, but they're a testament to those that are watching, for those that are around us, our family, our friends. You know, the Bible says that it's the goodness of God that draws men to repentance. So don't you think that seeing somebody be blessed, seeing somebody's body be healed, seeing somebody walk away from addictions and from the past, all these, th that's the goodness of God, if I've ever seen it. So those things are happening to us as a testimony to the people around us, but we benefit as well, amen? So if you have your Bibles, turn with me to Acts chapter 20, verse 35. Acts 20, 35. And it says, oh, hey, Siri. Siri wanted to get the word of God, too. <laughs> Acts 20, 35. He says, I have showed you all these things, how that so laboring ye ought to support the weak and remember the words of the Lord Jesus. So again, we're supporting others. It's not just for ourselves. And this is what the Lord said. It is more blessed to give than to receive. He's trusting us to do our part so that he can do his part, but it is more blessed to give than to receive. Amen? So if you're giving in the room tonight, maybe you just came in, you have not grabbed an offering envelope, our service attendants have those. You can raise your hand and receive one of those. Looks like everybody has been served. So why don't we stand to our feet, hold up our offering before the Lord, and say this with me. Heavenly Father, it's an honor and a privilege that you've trusted us with the kingdom of God. So we sow this seed by faith to enhance the kingdom, to further the gospel, so that everyone can come to know how good you are. In Jesus' name, amen. <laughs>